Hey, YouTube. You know, I really, I want to say this. I hope you're doing good. I hope you're doing well. You know what I'm saying? In this day and age that we live in, there's a whole bunch of terrible things happening every day. And I really mean it. I hope you're all right. All right. Come on, Charlie. Talk to me. Another YouTuber prank, a new, another YouTube prankster gets shot. I can't read, but you know what it says. Let's go. It's not often talked about, but I think it's something important. To this is getting scary. Shine a light on some heroes in the YouTube community, the pranksters. It's a very dangerous occupation. This is getting in scary. Fact, there's already been two pranksters that have died for their craft, risking it all for the sake of nobody's entertainment, because that shit sucks. The vast majority of YouTube pranksters are these carbon copy clones of pranks that were popular Shadow 10 clone, years ago for children is. that have now grown up and find it cringe. But for some reason, there still are channels that do the exact same pranks that were popular a decade ago, hoping that it'll catch fire once again. And it's for the most part, it hasn't. Though there are a few exceptions for prank channels that are popular and people do still appreciate them. But I would argue at least they're trying different things. Even though I'm not big into prank content, some of the ones that are popular aren't doing the same exact shit from 10 years ago. You know, the stepping on people's shoes in the hood prank. <laughs> that kind of shit that used to be super oh, huge. Oh boy. There are still channels that try that and oh, completely boy. fall flat because no one wants to see it. It's trash. And what I a fuck lot with of the diamond testers is the vast majority of prank channels faked it. And for obvious reason, because you can't really go around with the whole giving people a titty twister in the hood prank gone wrong and expect not to get your ass beat. So they'd have to or fake the whole scenario in order for the video to work. So that yep. way they didn't end up in the fucking hospital or in the ground in a goddamn coffin. Wow. But a lot of kids yeah. that grew up on that content must have not realized that they were fake because they twice were now in the last couple of years, two pranksters have been shot. One of them died. He was doing the like fake robbery prank where he charged at someone in a parking lot with a knife the person turned around and just fucking executed him like john wick so he got shot wait, and died for it wait, and now on. what we're talking hold on hold on that was dope fake robbery prank where he charged at someone in a parking lot with a knife that's not a prank bro that's that's not a prank that's actually very very worthy of your you know deletion the person turned around and just fucking executed him like john wick so he got shot. Hey, shout out to homie. It. And now what we're talking about today, a YouTube prankster named he got Tanner what for Cook it? got shot and died for it. And now okay. what we're talking about today, a YouTube prankster named Tanner Cook pulled some prank out of all life. that they haven't revealed what it was yet. That ended up getting him shot in the stomach and nearly killed him. But he pulled through. And in fact, this is actually a heartwarming tale because he got shot and he immediately learned that that was great for his channel growth. So his channel grew by like 5,000 subscribers and he made it clear in his interview after surviving the, the shooting and uh, you know, after surgery that he can't wait to get back to doing more of that content. Uh, he's an up and coming YouTube nah, sensation. Nah, nah. He does Never mind. pranks Never mind. where he's just a public nuisance. I ain't trying to get shot. So he was doing a prank video in the mall and a guy pulled out a gun and shot him in the stomach. It was a critical Smart. injury, but he's pulled through. And luckily, this has really helped open his eyes because he gave an interview where he said he can't wait to get back to doing it because it's his passion. Doing shitty pranks got him shot, and he can't wait to go back to doing more shitty pranks. Oh, no, this is this is the uh, aftermath of the shooting. Um, where's the interview? Oof. Is it this one? Tonight, you'll hear from the 21-year-old yes. YouTuber... 21! ...Town Center in Virginia. Our Come on, dog. And 31 year old Alan Coley. This witness capturing the moment deputy Virginia. Our Listen, okay. I know I don't believe in stereotypes, and on this channel, we are actually very, obviously, very against stereotypes, right? And stereotyping people. But let's just look at this dude, right? Would you come up like and fuck with him all for like no fucking reason? I would. I'm look, look, look. Stereotyping is sometimes save your life. Deputies arrested Coley, who's now facing felony charges, including Can speak malicious wounding. I was just playing a prank, that's a little crap. Hey, shout out to Cookies and Uncle Burner. Well, not just know it. Official and even after being shot, Cook says he plans to continue making videos because it's his passion. Now giving this simple statement to the community. Uh, Wholesome. To be clear, the Loudoun County Sheriff. What a what a what a great takeaway. He can't wait to get back to it because it's his passion. 
bothering people and filming it for your YouTube pranks. Dude. Hey, at the very least, he's not faking I'm the lost. pranks. I'm lost for words. And I guarantee he said it's just a prank, bro, after he got shot. Oh, I guarantee, guarantee yeah. it. Yeah. This is not Bottom the only dog. time this has happened. I actually covered a story like this, I think, two years ago. YouTube prankster tried to play a prank in a parking lot, and the prank was uh, killer clowns or something. So he charged them with a, a knife, and someone turned around, shot him, and he died. This is far from the only time a prankster's been Sounds shot. Sounds right. Killed their boyfriend while doing a YouTube prank. That's another one I talked about. That what? one's like old. That's like 2016. What? I don't even know what the prank was. But basically, it boiled down to this couple wanted to make a viral YouTube prank. Okay. So a guy held up a book in front of his chest, and his girlfriend shot him. And unsurprisingly, the bullet went straight through the book, straight through his chest, and killed him. Don't know what the prank was, but yeah, that was a, <laughs> it was a fucking desert eagle, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, what the fuck? Was. Yeah, it was a, she shot him with like a fucking fat round. Dude. Desert eagle versus dictionary. Yeah, I guess so. Wasn't a very competitive match. A lot of people always ask me wow. what happened to the girl who Issue shot her boyfriend. Cows. So I'll just give you a little bit of closure to this story. She did go to jail for a short period of time. Oh, now I do remember it is. And she's also wow. banned from owning firearms, obviously. So that's kind of what happened there. And it's just a really tragic story where the pursuit of clout ended up with someone dead. From one of the dumbest fucking ideas of all time. I still to this day can't fully figure out what the actual plan was. They both thought that a thick book would stop a bullet from a fucking desert eagle. They must have been mainlining stupid juice or something. Not everybody just fucking can have injecting a gun. dumb particles right into their body to make them think that would work. So they even hyped it up like this is gonna be one of the most dangerous His videos. His idea, ever not mine. And so he grabbed an encyclopedia wow. and she fired wow. a fucking desert eagle at him, which obviously just tore wow. straight through the encyclopedia and killed him. As thirty onlookers watched on. So I guess they turned this into like some kind of spectator wow. sport and invited friends and family over to watch. Wow. I, I don't know if prank is even the right word for it. I think this was wow. supposed to be some kind of like, you know, death defying stunt. Wow. But there was no defying. There was just death. So he died and that of course has been a very- Bro, but the couple's three-year-old child and nearly 30 onlookers watched bro- <laughs> Boom! Like what? Yo! Sad story because they did have a child together and she okay. was pregnant with another oh. child at the oh. time. And that's kind of where that one wrapped up. I believe this was the first case of a YouTube prankster getting shot and dying as a result of a prank. So they were kind of pioneers in, in that field there. They, they were the Prayers first. Prayers are real. Please send some anyway, for the family. Let's get back to talking about Tanner Cook. His wow. pranks are generic as they get. It's like if you ask ChatGPT to come up with prank ideas for you. It's just absolute clone of 10 years ago pranks. Being obnoxious and trying wow. to make people upset so that way you can get a video out of the whole situation. It's just the same tried and true formula that worked 10 years ago and doesn't really work anymore. But there are people like Tanner mm -hmm. that continue to works. try. I don't really know how you have a passion for making that kind of content. It's just no. having a passion for being an asshole. Yeah. Which is just a weird thing to say with pride. Now what's brutal is Tanner's own audience is eating him alive like Sinico. piranhas that just had a piece of lunch meat dropped into the pond. He is getting torn to shreds. Oh, that's the first the time I heard his dog. Things like, can't wait for Tanner to post the crying video and shit Checking like that. It's, it's brutal. Now... There's even people trying to defend the shooter, saying that maybe Tanner was doing, like, a dangerous prank and was shot in self-defense. I guess it is possible, but unlikely. I, I don't think Tanner was doing a, you know, knife robbery prank or anything like that. He was probably just doing more of his obnoxious, annoying pranks, and getting shot for that is clearly some unhinged shit. Uh, I'm not someone that's cheering for the shooter. And I watched Mudahar's video on it, and he even Talk revealed some me. information about the shooter as well. That makes Talk it pretty clear me. this guy was not exactly any kind of hero even before this shooting assuming okay. all of that information is accurate. i still wouldn't have charged him i wouldn't have, have picked him for the prank, prank tanner pulled was once again one of his stupid fucking you know fake target employee things where he's asking people to smoke with him and just constantly pestering him and you don't deserve do to it. be shot for that no you deserve to no. be bullied and made fun of for that not shot that's not exactly a good excuse to fucking shoot somebody because they if you're were charging obnoxious. at me with a knife though i mean now again i don't know what the prank was i guess there is a non-zero chance he was doing one of the dangerous you. pranks where you know 
threatening someone with a knife or making threats to somebody and then you could probably make an argument that maybe it was self-defense but we just don't know right now and i'm very curious okay. to see what comes from this because the shooter is of up. course being charged <laughs> like he, he didn't just shoot this guy and the cops were like well he was cringe so you're free to go <laughs> like he is obviously being charged for right. shooting this man and we don't know exactly what led to it so that's something you gotta find his prank video on but this was absolutely a massive fuck around and find out moment and he still didn't learn hey shout out to that one dude on my on my former uh charlie video where he was like doing fuck around meets find out and expo bro that dude holy shit anything from it it seems he sounds like plans on going right back to doing these pranks for his channel which is just crazy to me that blows my mind to be so lost in the sauce that even after getting shot, that still six, it only still further sold, cements your, their belief that he is in the right and he is making bangers because he just got shot for it. That's, I don't know, that is absolutely <sighs> wild to me. Little Chris. But anyway, just wanted to talk about this a little bit because this is once again another case where a YouTube prankster gets themselves shot. That's about Holy it. Shit. See ya. Thanks, Charlie. All right, everybody remember your brain doesn't develop until 25. So if you're under 25 and you want to do some stupid shit, please think twice. All right. Well, you already know what time it is. And if you don't, it's time for you to hit the noty bell. Get to know me, Will. Ain't nothing left to say. Everybody have a blessed day. I love y'all. I'm out. Peace.